This video is about the exponential function e and the natural log ln. e is just a number. It is 2.71828 and so on. It's a rational number, an irrational number, so it goes on forever. e is a really special number in modelling exponential growth and decay. And the reason behind that is because the value of the function is exactly the same as its rate of change at any point. So the gradient of the function is equal to the value of the function at any point on the graph. So on a graph, it's the same as any other exponential function in that it crosses at 0, 1. So it never touches the x-axis and it climbs something like that. The inverse of what equals ex, the inverse of e, is ln. So an inverse is a reflection in the line y equals x. So y equals ln x, which means log base e x. So you'll see ln x written a lot, and that means log base e x. And that's the inverse of e to the power of x. So where the original cross the y-axis at 1, the inverse crosses the x-axis at 1. So this one comes up never touching the y-axis. And it's a reflection in the line y equals x. So this is the graph of y equals ex. And this is the graph of y equals ln x. Now we're going to look at solving equations with e and ln. When we're solving equations, we use e and ln as the inverses of each other to solve equations. So here we've got a question, e to the power of x equals 5. So to solve this, we apply ln to both sides. So we get rid of e by applying ln to both sides. So ln e to the power of x equals ln 5. And then ln e just cancel out. So that leaves us with x equals ln 5. The other question here, we've got ln x equals 10. And we get rid of ln by applying e to both sides. So e ln x equals e to the power of 10. e ln cancels out which leaves us with x equals e to the power of 10. So we use the fact that e and ln are the inverse of each other to solve equations. The first question here, we've got e to the power of 3x plus 5 equals 8. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the plus 5 by taking 5 from both sides. So that will give us e to the power of 3x equals 3. Now we're going to deal with the e, so to get rid of an e we're going to apply ln to both sides. So ln e 3x equals ln 3. On the left side now we've got ln e and that is going to cancel out. ln e cancels out. So that's 3x equals ln 3. And to get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So x equals ln3 over 3. Okay, the second question. So we've got ln 2x equals 7. So this time we're going to get rid of ln by applying e to both sides. So that's e ln 2x equals e 7. E ln is going to cancel out, so that will be 2x equals e to the power of 7, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, which will give me e to the power of 7 over 2. Okay, question 3, we've got 3e to the power of 2x minus 3 equals 5. So we're going to get rid of the 3 first by dividing both sides by 3. So e 
2x minus 3 equals 5 thirds. And then we're going to apply ln to both sides. So ln e 2x minus 3 equals ln 5 thirds. ln e cancels out. So we've got 2x minus 3 equals ln 5 thirds. We want a plus 3 to both sides. So 2x equals ln 5 over 3 plus 3 and then divide by 2. ln 5 thirds plus 3 all over 2. And finally, we've got 3 ln 3x minus 2 equals 12. So we're going to divide by 3 first. ln 3x minus 2 equals 4. And then we're going to apply e to both sides. So e ln 3x minus 2 equals e to the power of 4. Now e ln cancels, so we've got 3x minus 2 equals e to the power of 4, plus 2 to both sides, e to the power of 4 plus 2 is equal to 3x, and divide by 3. e to the power of 4 plus 2 over 3. Okay, here's some more questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so the first one, we've got e to the power of 2x equals 5. So we're going to get rid of e by applying ln to both sides. So ln e 2x equals ln 5. ln e cancels, so that's 2x equals ln 5. And then divide both sides by 2, so x equals ln 5 over 2. Secondly, We've got ln 3x plus 1 equals 10. So we're going to get rid of ln by applying e to both sides. So e ln 3x plus 1 equals e to the power of 10. e ln cancels. So we've got 3x plus 1 equals e to the power of 10. Then we want to take one from both sides. So 3x equals e to the power of 10 minus 1 and divide by 3 finally. So e to the power of 10 minus 1 over 3. Question 3, 2 plus 3e to the power of 2x plus 1 equals 5. So the first step, we're going to take away 2 from both sides. So 3e 2x plus 1 equals 3. Then we're going to divide both sides by 3, which is going to give us just e 2x plus 1 equals 1. Now we're going to get rid of e by applying ln to both sides. So we've got ln e 2x plus 1 equals ln 1. ln 1 is actually 0, so we can change it to 0. Um, but ln e cancels, which is 2x plus 1, equals ln 1. But ln 1 is 0, because if you remember the graph um, crossed at 1, 0. So that's actually 0. So we're going to take 1 from both sides and divide by 2. So x is minus a half. And finally, we've got 2 ln... 2x minus 1 equals 10. So the first step is going to be divide both sides by 2. So we've got ln 2x minus 1 equals 5. Now we're going to apply e to both sides to get rid of ln. So we've got e ln 2x minus 1 equals e to the power of 5. e ln cancels. 2x minus 1 equals e to the power of 5, plus 1 to both sides, 2x equals e to the power of 5 plus 1, and finally divide by 2. So x equals e to the power of 5 plus 1 all over 2.